should I do a little bit of wrap up of the course? Yeah. So there's an outro linked from the web page, but it's not very up to date. Maybe I'll share it anyway. There, this is my screen. So there's many people that have helped made this part, not just the instructors, but others. And you can see the credits on the web page. Um, so about organizations, so Code Refinery is a publicly funded project by the Nordic e Infrastructure Collaboration, which supports computational research, uh, teaching, and software tools. Um, our organization at Alta University supports computational research here. And a lot of the other instructors you saw from other institutions, they're very similar to us. So basically, the idea is, like oftentimes in academia, you think, okay, I need to learn everything myself. But in the real world, it's good to have other people you can work with as a team. And if you don't have these kinds of computational experts in your own group, you can come to people like us and ask for help and advice. So wherever you are, I'd recommend you finding if there's these type of people there. There are other future events. So this is not updated since last year, but actually if you update the years, it's actually pretty accurate. So Code Refinery is a workshop on basically version control and other software development practices. So not about Python, but it would be, a, it's taught like this and really good to take also. Workflows course, <laughs> we were, this is written, we wanted to give it in 2022, and then we wanted to give it in 2023, and we still haven't given it. But maybe we should get on that. I'm not sure if high performance data analysis will be taught again. But then also in June of 2023, in our university, we have a course which is a kickstart to scientific computing and high performance computing. And these courses, Code Refinery and this one, are all taught just like we are here with the live stream format, co teaching, and basically should be of this quality. For announcements for many of these things, you can subscribe to a Code Refinery newsletter. How to stay in touch? Um, well, you can find some social media here. If you think that the kind of things we're talking about are what you're interested in, possibly more interested, interesting than the scientific side of things you do, or you like the science, but you also like the software more than you can do there. Re a research software engineer is the name of the kind of people we are. So we do research, we do software, and we connect them. Um, if you would like to meet with more like-minded people like this, there's research software engineer associations, which are of the people like us. In Nordics, there is this one, but you can find more in other places. Are there things to talk about working together? Um, so in the future, these are some ideas for what to do. Um, Basically, you can join the Code Refinery organization and help us to put on courses like this. So we really think we have a pretty good teaching style here that's both accessible to a very large audience. It's um, Our information is reusable since we have the videos and all of that. It's also very interactive and fun to listen to. So if you would like to support this kind of thing, please get in touch, join Code Refinery, and at the very least, tell people that we have this good way of teaching so we can try to spread it to other people. And with that being said, in the past, we've had an after party in Zoom. So we would share the Zoom link that we are in right now and allow everyone in the audience to join. So I won't give it yet, but it's a possibility. Should we put the feedback feedback for today?
in oh, the Oh yes, I forgot that. Let me. And I will also send you a feedback, a more general anonymous feedback for the whole course, so that you could tell, for example, you know what worked best, what needs improving, or what was missing. And I was writing something in the notes that I forgot. Oh yeah, that we also have a form where you can request future courses. So I'm now I'm gonna paste it there on, it's coming. So that, you know, if there is enough volume of requests, we can do all sorts of things. I have to say that many of you, when you register, maybe 75% actually tick the box. Please let me know about future courses. So you will definitely receive more emails from me. <laughs> and of course, you can always unsubscribe if, you know. Please give feedback if you hear. This is important. Is there any more? Should we call it the end? Maybe we should call it the day and let people join this Zoom after the streaming is over. Yes. Thank you, Rich, okay. everyone. Thank, thank you to all. You were a great audience. And I think this was one of the best courses we've put on yet. So thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.